Hello everyone, this is Linda and yes, I'm in my garden and this is my eggplants. It looks like I have uh, hmm, five plants growing in here. Huh? Maybe. Yeah, but uh, that's my, um, hmm, my eggplants. They they seem to be happy in there. <laughs> okay, guys, this is uh, one of my uh, tomato plants, and I've been having so many problems with this plant. Now, I never grew um, tomatoes before in containers, so this is my first year trying to do that. But this is the problem I'm having with this plant. Okay, well, the first thing is um, uh, there was a tomato hornworm on this plant. Yeah, <laughs> got rid of him. And um, the second thing is it had uh, blossom end rot on, um, on the tomatoes. Um, some of the tomatoes had blossom end rot look like those are pretty good but it looked like it doesn't happen until the tomatoes get pretty big so what I've been doing is I've been giving it extra amount of calcium so uh, in their water in this water I give them I have um, calcium in it uh, another thing is is that it just um, of course, it, and also it have um, leaf miners. I cut a lot of it away. Well, here's some right here. Just if you don't know what that is, that's these squiggly little marks. Looks like on your on your leaves. That that's leaf miners, and and it's not that leaf miners do. I, I, they are just ugly. And the only way to get rid of leaf miner is to um, cut the leaves away and um, hope they don't come back. <laughs> I don't know any other way to get rid of leaf miners. It's just to uh, cut the leaves off. And um, But I have one plant that if I cut the leaves off that have leaf miners, I have no leaves left. Uh, I think they're very ugly, and but... Hey, that's growing tomatoes. Now you will see a lot of these um, tomato uh, stems here with no tomatoes on them. Is because they have blossom in rot. And um, let's see if I left one or two on here just to show you guys. But I guess I didn't. Let's see what's that look like. No, oh, that's pretty good. But um. Yeah, there was blossom in rot on like 15 nice size <laughs> tomatoes. And I'm like, oh my God, you know, that's just. <sighs> but so what I've decided to do is to not only give this plant uh, more calcium, I'm going to give all of them in these buckets, everyone. Uh, peppers, everyone. I'm going to give them more um, calcium. Uh, like every other day, I'm going to give them calcium. So we'll see how that work out. It's still producing um, um, flowers. So it's still producing tomatoes. But uh, it is so discouraging when you see your tomatoes and they look beautiful and you look under the bottom of them and it's blossom and rot. It, 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 it just take all the steam out of you. You know? So now I definitely want to thank my friend um, Grow Me Something Mister. Grow Me Something Mister. <laughs> he looked at my last video and he says Speaking of hornworms, that looked like a hornworm over there. 
So I'm sitting out in the garden when I'm reading his um, his comment. So I go over to the plant where he said this uh, um, tomato hornworm was. And guys, lo and behold, the hornworm was right where he said it was. I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> so... Thank you, Grow Me Something Mister, for watching the video. <laughs> it was crazy, but I'm like, oh my God. I didn't believe that, but there it was. Big old fat tomato hornworm staring me in the face. And you know, that's another thing. Getting rid of tomato hornworms. You know, guys, I... I, I'm out here every day, and I'm checking my leaves back and forth. But even after all the checking you do, you still end up with them. You know, there's there's nothing you can do to uh, get rid of them. You get rid of them by uh, uh, paying attention to your plant. Some of them going to get by. Some eggs is going to pass. It's just because the plants now are just big and Oh, yeah, and some of them going to get by, and when they do, then they get big on you, and um, so the first evidence you know that maybe you have a tomato hornworm is that the top of your leaves, because they like to be like at the top of the plant, and they like those tender leaves, they don't like the big leaves at the bottom, so you'll see the top of your leaves like this here, all of this here would be gone, and just the stem is left. <laughs> and now, and then the other part to know that you have a tomato hornworm is that you will see their poop. It's big, and when it first poop, it is green, but when oxygen hit it, it turns black. And you will see it on the leaves, and it's pretty big. And then, yeah, start looking for them. And you look for them like under, like under the leaves, you know. So sometimes what I do is I just take a stick and I just move the leaves like that, you know. And usually if that, if the limb fall another way or so, he's under there because his weight just brings him, you know, will knock the leaves over. So, yeah, tomato hornworms. Uh, like I said last time, last year they drove me crazy, you know, but yeah, I have a, a new thing for them. Now, what I've done is, you know, since the rains happen, it seems like every insect from everywhere uh, in the state of Louisiana says Linda's Garden is a cool place to visit and eat and stay. And so they came here and, I mean, attacking these plant leaves. I mean, it's like everywhere. So I cut off a lot of leaves at the bottom and the sides so there can be some great aeration and I can see right through it. And then um, I sprayed uh, yesterday. Yesterday evening, I sprayed neem oil. I wait till the sun go down. I sprayed neem oil. And I'm going to do that every other day for three sprays. And um, then next month, I'll do the same thing. And uh, because I have to get rid of these things, you know, they're driving me. And they're eating up all of the leaves on these plants. So every other day for three sprays. For this month and I'll do it again um, next month also yeah so guys that is what I'm doing but anyway I hope you guys have a great great Wednesday and um, we'll talk soon later y'all